Hi everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. This is 19th lecture on floor planning and macro placement in physical design. Here we shall be looking at some very interesting topics in the physical design world. So far in previous lecture, we have already seen certain rules which are needed for placing the macros. So let us assume that this is our core and we have rows already cut and macros are placed. There were certain rules that were followed. Let us quickly review one by one. So here let us say that macros should be on corner was the first rule that we saw. So we have already seen that why it should be on corner because if you place them in the center like this there will be a detour and you will face issues in detouring. So let us say that this is your macro here and blue colored ones are standard cells and both sides if they are at standard cells and they want to talk to each other the routing resources will have to detour around the macros second rule that we saw was we have to consider connections to the fixed cells when placing the macros which means that if there are certain cells which will be always fixed in their location and there is a connection for them with respect to macro then we need to respect that and we have to place the macros accordingly this we have already seen. Then third rule that we saw was reserve enough room for routing. Macros should not block the IO pass. That also we saw that if you have pins around bottom right corner let's say. So your macros should not be here unless there is very critical paths and it should not block the IO paths. There should be enough room for routing the interface paths. Then we also saw that macro pins should face the core bound core and not the boundary. So if there are pins like this, then we already seen that it should face the core because interaction of this macro will be with respect to core and it should not face the otherwise, which means it should not face the boundary because otherwise it will eat up the routing resources and there will be a lot of detour which will result in congestion that we have already seen. Then next thing that we saw was macros can only be rotated 0 degree or 180 degree for maintaining substrate continuity. So your macros can only be rotated like this or maybe like this but you cannot rotate it 90 degree so that pin, come, pin should not come like this or pin should not come like this. This should not happen. This is not correct. So your pins can only come in this edge or it can come on the edge where it is already there. So there are only 0 degree or 180 degree possible. This is also related to, sub, uh, related to the technology and foundry rules. So maintaining the substrate continuity is very important. This already we have seen all these explanations in detail in the previous video in depth. So if you want to visit that there is a link in the description below for full playlist for other topics also. Now let us understand more tips on macro placement carrying on from what we have already learnt. So let us take this example for understanding the macro placement tips. So we have already done it based on the learnings. Let us ex take an example that pins are on this edge of the core and you are placing it away from the core allowing uh, sufficient room for the routing based on the assumption that these macros are not timing critical and if they are timing critical then they will be placing very closely to the IOs or your input output pins. So let us take example that these macros also have pins facing towards the core and there is sufficient spacing available in between them. Now there is one more requirement from the uh, macro placement side that your macros should have enough channel in between macros if the pins are not on the center if the pins are on the center then this macros you can avoid this play th this kind of channel y this is avoidable so you can avoid this channel if you want and you can abut the macros here so abutting is possible in such cases where pins are on the center of the macro because at that time routing will not happen in between the channel and you can take it from the other side or you can take it over the macro. But if you have pins on the edges like this in this case you have pins on the edges. So such cases are not avoidable. So this you cannot avoid, avoid having the channel and channel is a must. 
सो इन दिस केस चैनल इज रिक्वायर्ड चैनल इज नीडेड इन दिस केस एंड दैट इज वाई यू हैव अ चैनल हियर बट हियर यू कैन अवॉइड द चैनल्स एंड पिंस मस्ट फेस द कोर सो यू कैन यू शुड हैव इनफ चैनल स्पेसिंग इफ यू हैव पिंस ऑन द एज ऑफ द मैक्रो दैट इज वन रिक्वायरमेंट एंड योर मैक्रो प्लेसमेंट शुड बी बेस्ड ऑन हेरारकी सो ऑल हेरारकी मैक्रोज विच आर हैविंग अ कॉमन हेरारकी दोज शुड बी क्लब्ड टूगेदर सो बेस्ड ऑन हेरारकी यू हैव टू प्लेस द मैक्रोज दिस इज अ रिक्वायरमेंट नाउ हेयर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट टू नोट दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न जस्ट नाउ दैट मैक्रोज कैन बी अबेड इफ पिन आर इन सेंटर एंड अ चैनल इज नीडेड इफ पिन आर ऑन द एज ऑफ द मैक्रो let us color some of the macros now in yellow and some of them in white color macros of same yellow color means they belong to the same hierarchy and macros of white color means they all belong to common hierarchy hence the guideline for placing macros is all macros which have common hierarchy should be placed together when we say macro having lot of common connections should be placed closely it means that we are trying to reduce the net delay by placing such macros closely now the question is how do we identify which macros have more connections through a particular other macro so it is done through the fly line analysis so that is done through the fly line analysis fly line is a terminology which is used for uh, understanding the net connections from one macro to another macro and the more the such fly lines go through means more such connections are present when we select macros and enable the fly lines it shows connections going from that macro to another macros there will be direction also mentioned in the arrow format and it represents the direction of input or output connection through that macro more such connection means that these macros should be placed closely or else if they are placed farther apart there will be a lot of connecting nets going all over the design which will result in congestion later on hence for a good floor plan we must know what is the data flow from one macro to another macro one very important thing to note that is we have to fix the macro locations during the floor plan itself so that tool won't alter this during the placement and optimization phase that's all for this video we will learn more concepts related to macro placement guidelines in further videos please like share and subscribe to the channel and give your important feedback in the comment section thank you